what's up everybody 3x back in the building again with some more dynasty warrior 7 empires and we're continuing on in our defense of the central section of china of which continues to be bombarded by my good buddy ming su who owns all of that golden real estate on the right hand side of the map so this is going to be another defensive battle of my capital of my little kingdom here and we're gonna bring in my strategist who goes by the name of Len Z. she's a female and right now I'm just trying to figure out what her secondary weapon is going to be her EX weapon is the flying swords And uh, I think I want to give her a fan because she's a strategist and it's just cliche to give your strategist a fan. I blame it on Suma Yi and Zhu Ge Leon. It's just, it's just one of those unwritten rules of Dynasty Warriors Empires. Your strategist always has to have a fan because the strategists of the actual Three Kingdoms use fan as fans as weapons so there you have it we'll go with the uh, iron fan however and not the war fan because it's a little more feminine and Lin Z is actually like I said feminine so yeah that's that's how that's gonna work okay we got her set up now to bring on her buddies For defensive battles, you want to make sure you bring in officers who have as many troops as possible. Because depending on the strength of the force that's invading, they are going to lose a considerable amount of troops. And that gets magnified even more the more difficult the uh, game mode it is that you're playing. I'm currently playing this particular uh, Empire mode on hard. So, they will do a lot of damage. Anywhere between 25 to sometimes 47% casualties after invasions or uh, defensive battles. <clears throat> it's just one of those things you have to get used to. Which is why after the battle is very important to uh, get your troops back up, get your forces back up to snuff, to where you can at least try to defend again if another kingdom decides that they want to try to pick up the scraps. Which is again one of those reasons why I prefer playing empires compared to any one of the other versions of Dynasty Warriors that comes out over the course of uh, a cycle because you have that added strategy of having to figure out how to uh, handle your forces in addition to the actual grunt work of coming out here and slicing up a whole truckload of uh, enemy officers so this is actually the first time I'm using the uh, flying swords weapon, which is the default weapon of Zhang Hui, who is an officer of the Jin Kingdom. Very cool. Reminds me a whole lot of um, uh, Byakuya Kutsuki's Bankai, if you're at all familiar with the bleach anime or manga definitely has some uh, Senbon Zakura in in spirit here except it can't go through the ground and you know obviously doesn't break up into cherry blossoms but yeah that move right there is just brutal
Very nice. And I especially like the radial attack. That's the uh, EX move for this particular weapon. It's perfect for crowds, especially considering the fact that majority of the time in Dynasty Warriors you're fighting in crowds. Which is one of those things that I don't really understand why it is that certain weapons aren't really effective in crowd situations because you're always in a crowd situation. But that's just me. Okay, we're gonna call on the horse. Now, we're moving on forward. Let's go up north and see what's going on there. I probably should have went the other way though. Okay, then again, maybe not. Detour! I should have used red hair instead of the hex mark. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little more realistic here. Not everybody uses red hair. I'll pretty much have uh, red hair be used by the uh, OG characters, particularly the rulers. So what I'm doing here is setting up my treasure base, which will allow for me to gain an extra 10 pieces of gold after the victory is won and then I'm using the ambush stratagem which is one that is specific for the uh, wise fame type so anybody who tries to uh, cross this ambush area basically anybody who comes in and tries to take over this uh, treasure base will be ambushed there'll be uh, extra troops that will pop out and surprise them basically do a little bit more damage and speaking of using strategy here comes Zugaleon I'm matching wits with the greatest military strategist in all of second century China sounds like fun down you go Ming Han's back off the bench. And another base bites the dust. So if you look up on the right, inside of the map, those yellow X marks are the ambush points that are set up. So once an enemy goes past that area, basically, they'll get ambushed. Kind of like that ambush right there that I put on Ming Fan. Okay. Looks like the ambush just paid off. That's strategy for you, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to take my freaking treasure base. That's what happens when you mess with my money. Don't mess with my money. And on top of that, I actually captured Ming Fong. Didn't just beat him, I captured him. Very nice. And damn it, sure I just got wiped out by Zhuge Liang. It's it's the it's the tides of war here, ladies and gentlemen. That's just how it goes. Sometimes you got to make sacrifices. Sometimes there will be casualties. You can't save everybody. And look at this guy running. Should have thought better before you tried to steal my ducats. Down he goes. And here comes Tai Chi Su. And Chan Hua. That's another one of my uh, creative characters there. Want to fight? Let's go.
That was easier than I expected. Yeah. It really, really doesn't matter the difficulty level you play on when you have the uh, the the fifth weapons or ultimate weapons or whatever it is that you want to call them, because they're just designed to pretty much decimate anything in their path. As you can clearly see, multiple officers getting wiped out right here. Down goes another one. And Lin Xi right now is taking care of business. Eh, these elite troops are not so elite now, are they? Why you mad though, man? Take the loss like a man. And Ming Su arrives on the scene. And we just lost the base. Well, as long as it's not the treasure base, I'm not mad. Might as well get the hex mark back out. That'll help me move around a little faster. Oh, that's slick. Well, didn't really make much of a difference there, did it? <laughs> they took out my defensive base, transformed it into a defensive base of their own. But too little too late right there because while they were up there playing around with that base, my forces took over their main base. And that pretty much spells victory. So there you see the Allied casualties. Uh... 27%, not too much of a loss except for Sure I, who got knocked out. That will take out a lot of your uh, troops. And obviously Ming Fan was not going to uh, be subjugated by me. No way he was going to turn on his own dad. So in these instances you can either release them back to their force or chop their heads off. I am going to be the benevolent soul here and just kick him out with his tail tucked in between his legs. That gives you a little bonus of 100 kind fame points. Executing them would give you 100 evil fame points. And the most important part is that my territory remains unchanged and hopefully Ming Su will give me a freaking break now. But anyway, that's where we're going to uh, cut this battle off. And lo and behold, he's still at it. I'm just not getting a break here. Jeez. I guess we'll take care of this in the next video then. More Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires gameplay coming up. In the meantime... Please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is 3X signing off. See ya!